Welcome everyone to another episode of Terrain Studio. I'm your host, Sean Morris. Today on the Terrain Studio, I have for you another product review from the Back to Basics company. Here before you, I have the external unit, the external corner unit available from Back to Basics. Um, this uh, is again used in their paint line series. This is the acrylic version here, done with the black uh, chassis and the clear shelves. It does have some nice uh, etched uh, graphics here, the Back to Basics logo. The corner unit itself uh, is built in this particular uh, variant to accept the Vallejo paints. Here, you can place your Vallejo paints in the vertical fashion or in the upside down uh, manner, just like in the straight units. The bottom uh, shelf here does hold nine paints. The third shelf here holds seven. The uh, second to the top holds five and then three. And then the, the top portion here has been built to accept some uh, smaller uh, style paintbrushes. So they just slip into the top and then rest in these smaller holes below. The paint unit itself works much like the straight rack. Again, works in conjunction with the other available units as well it marries up nicely to the uh, drawer tidy units and the tool racks which you will see later on the train gadget on the uh, train studio um, the unit itself uh, is uh, fairly lightweight um, not much uh, in terms of uh, difficulty in terms of constructing um, the unit itself has been uh, designed very similar to the other ones you can see here with the spacing between shelves you do have the four paint shelves and the one paintbrush uh, shelf as previously mentioned. You do have supports in the center, so there's very little flex on the shelves. Certainly uh, it's more than sturdy enough to hold uh, a full um, complement of paints. The rack unit itself is um, available in uh, several variants. You are able to certainly change the color. Uh, you can change the chassis color as well as the shelving color, and they can be the same, they can be different. Um, you can go with uh, all translucents, all opaques, that's completely up to you. The site is, uh, allows you to customize that. As well as the uh, diameter of the paint holes can be customized. So this is built here to accept the Vallejo and the Reaper paints, but it's also available to, hex, uh, to accommodate the GW hex pots, as well as the round ones, um, and several other paint variants uh, on the site. Um, in doing so, you may find that the number of paints are um, reduced slightly, the number that you can hold that is, um, but it's certainly not going to be more than one or two per shelf, depending on the diameter of the, the paint itself. Um, this unit here, uh, what's unique about it is the fact that it does open up a lot of table dimension. You can certainly add a rack onto um, both uh, sides. You could use a second uh, corner to give you a half round. Um, this would be nice in the center of a table. You could certainly go with four to create a, a cylinder. Um, and that would be uh, interesting for if you had um, sort of a table where you had multiple painters working at it. Uh, great for a hobby uh, studio or great in um, uh, a gaming store where you had a dedicated paint area where people could, uh, you know, bring their own paints in and just sort of use the space while they're painting to keep their work area nice and clean. Um, so that's certainly an option. I'm just going to go ahead and place this to the uh, far left of the camera here. I'll go ahead and bring in a straight unit, which you've already seen, just to show you uh, how these work in conjunction. They are uh, able to be magnetized together, and that uh, tab does come with, uh, with the units themselves, um, and that's just placed between the two units. The magnets do allow it to be more securely uh, fastened together. Certainly it's not going to go anywhere, it's just being stationary as is. As you can see here, as I run my finger across, you'll notice that there's no variation in height, so it gives a nice smooth transition from unit to unit, allowing you to, uh, to place your paints in a single row and maintaining that visual image and uh, that color gradient is what I use mine for. So um, that's uh, maintained across units itself. You can uh, certainly, um, like I said, have one paint rack that's dedicated to, say, your Vallejo or your Reaper paints, and then have a straight unit that has uh, GW or Hex Pots or, or Tamiya or some of the other uh, brands. And based on the uh, diameter of the hole, you will have, like I said, reduced number, but the height of the shelves themselves, you'll maintain that transition between them. So although you'll have some variation in paint uh, styles, you'll certainly maintain the look of your hobby space. Um, so that's uh, sort of a benefit of the uh, of the units I find. Um, I, I currently only uh, possess any some, the Vallejo variants, but uh, I am uh, 
thinking about uh, getting some other units that uh, can maybe accept some of my uh, my weathering powders and my big pigments uh, that are that are of the larger diameter. So that's certainly something I'm going to look for in the future. Um, as you can see, sort of the units when they're placed together, you get that really nice uh, sleek look. You can sort of see the hobby area developing. You can see the workstation sort of building as you construct these units. And given that there's so much variation and so much dimension to these, um, sort of the, the configurations that you can come up with are almost endless. So you can imagine that this could be a corner unit that just sort of continues around or um, you know, several of these creating little pods uh, within a workspace or your straight unit and the ability to sort of move them in and out, uh, opening up, uh, you know, opening up a workspace and, and closing that off and moving it to another location without having to, you know, grab a handful of paints um, really lends to the, uh, the diversity of the unit and the, you know, the, the usability of the unit. It's a, it's a utility um, it's it's more than just a, a paint rack. It's it's a it's a hobby essential in in, in any case. Um, that's what I view it as. So um, hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed sort of having a look at these products. They certainly have a lot more out. Um, I can just in front of me here. I have uh, at least four more that I want to do a product review on, and uh, I'm uh, I'm really uh, I'm really an advocate of the product. Um, y you know, uh, there is some things that you get behind as a hobbyist. And this is certainly one of the things that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm backing wholeheartedly. So, um, like I said, if you guys are really interested and you want to pick some up, contact me. I'll get you guys a, you know, a little bit of a discount. Any discount is, is better than, you know, uh, full retail and, uh, you won't be disappointed. I know a lot of people have, uh, have already e emailed me back and say, Hey, thanks for the code. I picked that up and I'm waiting for it. Or some people that have already received theirs have, uh, had nothing but nice things to say about the product. So. Uh, this is the external corner here, again, in the Vallejo um, variant. Go check out uh, backtobasics.com, uh, and you guys won't be disappointed. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.